Down to sad news across the river. One person is dead and four others are fighting for their lives tonight in the hospital after two shootings in Portsmouth. Police say the shootings happen one after the other and the crime scenes are just minutes away. The shootings happen the same day community leaders in Portsmouth gathered to discuss ways to crack down on gun violence. Dana Smith has more. Just after 11 p.m. Saturday, Portsmouth police officers say someone shot four people on Commonwealth Avenue near the city's West Haven neighborhood. Investigators say as detectives investigated that scene, they heard multiple gunshots nearby. About five minutes down the road at London Oaks Apartments, police say someone shot and killed a man. It's unfortunate that uh, the event happened shortly after we've had this, this gun symposium. The shootings came hours after community members, police officers, and anti-crime advocates gathered to discuss crime in Portsmouth. Reverend Dr. John Myers helped organize the effort. We're bringing community leaders together to strategize, to inspire, to empower people, to, to empower these children to believe that they can make a difference in their community. Portsmouth's Gun Violence Symposium focused on identifying what's causing gun violence and developing strategies to encourage change in the community. When you just look at one shooting after another shooting after another shooting, people can lose hope and say there's nothing that can be done. I think these symposiums at the heart give people hope. There is something that we can do if we come together, unify and work together. Community activist Bailal Muhammad was one of several advocates at the symposium. So we left on a good note, good note. And knowing that this particular incident occurred late last night, that tells us that we got a lot of work to do. In the wake of these latest shootings in Portsmouth, Muhammad called on community and city leaders to do more to reach out to youth, walk through at-risk neighborhoods, and strategize to address the root causes of crime. We are in a very, very serious situation. And if we don't tackle this problem now, it's going to get worse. Dana Smith, 13 News Now. If you know anything about these latest shootings, you're asked to call the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP.